I just want to take a moment to encourage you today. If you have been facing warfare that feels like it is off the charts, you are not alone. We have been in a season, especially these past couple of weeks, where the warfare and the spiritual darkness, specifically uh, attacks of witchcraft in the spiritual realm and mental bombardment and natural situations uh, popping up to distract and overwhelm us. This has been off the charts in, in the last couple of weeks. So if that is you, I wanna encourage you. I'm speaking to those of you who are following after the Lord, um, but you have sensed this almost like the enemy's trying to put up this false illusion that there that you are stuck, that there's a wall in front of you. And you felt like, okay, I'm very close to the breakthrough because you are, but you see uh, in this, this recent season that the warfare has just taken, been taken to another level. Some of you are having it in the night and having spiritual manifestations of darkness in your home. You're having spiritual attacks in dreams. Um, and I, I especially feel like with the witchcraft intensifying, you're, uh, many of you are facing huge amounts of mental bombardment of just darkness trying to come in um, and old things that you have already conquered in the spirit trying to re-manifest. So I want to encourage you if that's you. I want to validate. We don't we don't close our eyes and pretend like we don't have a very real enemy. And we don't close our eyes and pretend like we don't have to battle in the spirit. That is uh, naive, that is ignorance, and we know that the Bible says it is for ignorance that people perish. And so we are aware of this battle that, that is being waged against us. But I want to encourage you with this, that many of these things that you're facing, you have told the Lord, I don't know how to, over, how to face this, because this seems like I, there, there's no clarity on how I can overcome this. There's no direction. This bombardment is just outside of my capacity and the Lord would say to you just as he's been saying to me over and over the last couple of weeks is to praise him as your weapon that your praise is your weapon that praise is actually this is what I heard the Lord say that praise is the truest form of rest that the Lord is calling you in this battle season to rest and be still and watch the salvation of the Lord, but specifically to choose rest through worship and praise. So when we choose to worship the Lord and praise him and say, God, this seems too much. God, this is more than I can handle. God, where is all this coming from? Why is this happening? I, I this is what's happening but I choose to praise you I believe that you have won this battle for me I surrender my will I surrender my life to you I will hold nothing back and because of that decision of surrender you will win this victory for me it's already done it's already done in the spirit I and victorious in you. I praise you. I praise you. I worship you. And if you don't know anything else to say, you can say, Lord, I praise you. I worship you. That is a pure form of rest because when we worship him, it's as if we're saying, I don't need to fight this because you are fighting it on my behalf. You are great. You are higher than everything that's coming against me. And so choose to worship the Lord as your greatest weapon as you face these battles. And I'm going to put a link in the description to a word, a written word of encouragement about choosing to rest through worship um, just for more encouragement and more time to really soak in this reality. We, we are a people of an upside down uh, kingdom, right, in comparison to the world. So when we go to battle, we choose a position of rest and we actually worship him as our battle cry. We worship the Lord who fights for us. We stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord by worshiping the Lord in the face of the most intense darkness that some of us have ever faced. The, the battles that are waging against many of you in this hour are off the charts and beyond what you thought you could face. And that leads us into, I have no other option 
except to praise the one who fights for me. So I just want to bless you with that, Father. I pray you would bless your people today. I pray that you would give us hearts that rest in your authority, that rest in your faithfulness, that rest in the fact that you are Jehovah God. There is no one above you. There is no God other than you. And you sit on your throne that you have already won these battles for us. You have already secured the victory. It is already done in the spirit. So we praise you. We praise your name. We lift your name on high. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Holy Spirit. There is nothing hard for you. There is nothing impossible with you. We praise you. We praise you. Let praise be on our tongues until we see this breakthrough. And there is nothing else we need to try to figure out except to praise you in absolute surrender. And we thank you, Lord, that you are clearing the highway. I see you clearing the highway for your people, Lord. I see you clearing the stones and making the way straight so that it is all clear. And our answer is yes, we will run down that path with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.